Hey, what's up guys? Well, the day is finally here. Today in this video, I have with me the brand new smart battery case for the iPhone XS. Now, if you guys haven't seen, Apple has released these cases for the iPhone XS, XS Max, and XR, and they all respectively are pretty much the same thing, just a different size and form factor. But there we have it, guys, right within the packaging. Put that aside, pull this out. Here we have the smart battery case. And actually, I really like the design of this case. There is no more chin at the bottom. There is a slight chin, but it's nothing as drastic as the iPhone 7 ones. In today's video, we're not only gonna do an unboxing, but I'm actually going to use this with my iPhone 10 right here, because I really wanted to see if it will work on older devices like the iPhone 10. Apple doesn't mention this in the product packaging or on their website, and there have been mixed results online so far. So I hope to answer that question in today's video, but pretty self-explanatory and straightforward. We can pretty much just open the case and this guy should just pop out pretty easily. I guess we can kind of peel it away right there. But that's pretty much all you get in the packaging is simply the case. Oh, it looks like there's some informational packets right here. And uh, I'll just go ahead and pull those guys out. But I like the grip. This reminds me of kind of like the silicone cases that Apple provides already. Um, those are pretty sweet. Nice uh, microfiber filament at the bottom right here. All in all, this looks really sweet. Let's go ahead and take a look at these packets real fast. Um, nothing too crazy, just uh, warranty information, kind of a how-to installation guide, and just, I guess, more information about what's going on. All right, so pretty self-explanatory there. And uh, here's the moment of truth, guys. Let's go ahead and take my iPhone off of the dock right here. I'll go ahead and turn it off and you can slide it in right at the bottom. And uh, it looks like you can kind of peel this guy back at the top and then just slide this guy in just like that. So there it is guys, here is the battery case on the iPhone 10. looks pretty sweet. Got two volume rockers and actually a cutout right here for your mute toggle switch right there. Pretty easy, but I just love the look of this. It really doesn't add too much to the bezels. There is no chin at the bottom or at the top that's just drastic like it was on the iPhone 7 models. Your power button or side button right there. And on the very bottom you have uh, your speaker array right here and microphone array right there with the lightning connector right there. And the cool thing is this case does support wireless charging. So you can actually just place it on a wireless charger like you normally would. And it also supports fast charging via the lightning cable right here. It just has pass-through technology. This also works with the lightning headphones that come standard with your iPhone. Let's go ahead and swipe over. And so far, no case on the iPhone 10. Interesting. As you guys can see, the iPhone 10s's uh, camera display, it is a little bit longer, and the case was actually made for the iPhone 10s, so that's why it doesn't fit perfectly right there. And unfortunately, since this is a black case on a white phone, you can really easily see that, but it does fit, it does actually go in. Um, unfortunately, it's just not recognizing the case as of yet. Honestly, the case might be dead, it might not be charged. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and I'll be right back. All right, well, to make things very simple, I actually have with me a portable battery charging case. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into the 2.1 amp output right here. Uh, it doesn't even say it's charging the iPhone 10. Wow. So support might not actually work for the iPhone 10. So if you guys can see right here, it does say that it's charging. That's a really neat position for the charging indicator right there. I guess it really shows that it's charging when you don't have your iPhone in, because you could obviously see if it was charging on display if you have your iPhone on. Um, I really liked though, like with like the Mophie battery charging cases that the indicator was on the back. So you could see how much your case was charged and how much your phone was charged. Granted, Apple's implementation, you can actually just swipe over and go to batteries. And in theory, you should be able to see your battery, your smart battery right here underneath your iPhone next to your AirPods and Apple Watch and things like that. All right, well, let me show you guys real fast. I don't know why I was in screen time. I'm gonna go to general about. I'm currently on iOS 12.1.1. So that might be the reason why. I'm gonna go ahead and update this phone to iOS 12.1.3 and I'll be right back. All right, well here we are, take two. Now, initially when I filmed this video, as you guys just saw, I took the case off and I figured out in the second round of filming this video, you have to pull this guy kind of pretty far back. You can actually just slide it in just like that, pop it on. 
And same results pretty much. I'm going, boy, this thing does not work on the iPhone 10. It looks like it's in. I tried multiple times by actually plugging it into the charger. Maybe the case was dead. Wasn't quite sure what's going on. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm not on the latest iOS software. So I updated to iOS 12.1.2, Apple's latest flagship software. Still nothing, same exact results. I even said, screw it, let's update to the latest iOS 12.1.3 beta being beta four and still nothing. I never could get this case to show up on my iPhone 10. So I'm going, well, that's a bummer. I really wanted to use this thing um, and I was kind of disappointed in it. And honestly, I still kind of am. It's next impossible to get this thing off. You really just feel like I'm gonna break my phone trying to get it off. But uh, I learned one thing is you literally have to push as hard as you can down to get this thing to register. Now, I don't know if I just have a buggy iPhone case right here, but man, I had to shove it all the way down to get it to work. But alas, it does work on the iPhone 10. As you guys can see, my battery case is only at 40%, so probably it wasn't charged when I first got it. I did use the fast charger to actually charge this guy up. And so that was probably part of the problem before I sat down and filmed this video. But the good thing is, is it sounds like the reports are true. I'm currently on iOS 12.1.1. I downgraded back after updating. And this case does work on iOS 12.1.1. From the rumors, it sounds like it works on iOS 12.1 and above. So for those jailbroken on 11.3.1, don't think this battery case is gonna quite work. It sounds like it has to be on one of the latest versions of iOS 12 for it to actually come up and register. But also the good thing that I can confirm is it doesn't seem like any annoying pop-ups are coming up when using this case. Um, I've used it now for about a half an hour after actually getting it to register and work, and it seems to be doing its job just fine on the iPhone X. Um, so that's the cool thing, guys. I finally got it to work. Probably the most annoying thing, if you guys can see, I tried to show this off, but the camera assembly right here is slightly smaller on the iPhone 10, and so they made the case for the iPhone 10s, and it made it a little bit lower. And I don't know if you guys can see in this light, but there is a little bit of my white iPhone, the back of it showing right there. That's about the only thing, but it's really not too noticeable. I'm never looking at the back of my phone, so honestly, I'm really enjoying this case so far, and I haven't had any annoying errors like I've been saying. Um, all in all, it works pretty good. My biggest complaint was just how hard it was to get this thing into the case, and furthermore, how hard it is to get it out. So if you guys do want this case, definitely commit to it um, and just leave your phone on it. It's not something you can take on and off and switch cases every single day. And the cool thing is you really shouldn't need to take it out of the case too often. This supports wireless charging. This supports fast charging. You can connect your lightning cable headphones right down there just as normal. Um, so all in all, it just feels like a nice extension. It's really, it's not too much heavier. It's lighter than I expected. And it kind of gives it a nice grip in the, in your palm. Like it's not annoying to actually have in the back. Um, so all in all, that is my final review. After struggling to get this thing to actually come up on my iPhone 10, here it is guys. We successfully got it. It does work. I'm really shocked on that one because I had my doubts. I was under the impression it wasn't gonna work. I mean, I updated my phone twice to try to get it to work and I took it in and out of the case four or five times before I accidentally saw it appear real quickly and I'm going, maybe it's just a loose connection. I don't know why I didn't try that earlier, but <laughs> any case, uh, I was surprised how far you have to push it in. You know, I'll just demo this one more. Like, it's kind of annoying to get this guy out. God, you really have to just grab it. Um, and uh, basically to get it back in, it's kind of hard to do. You kind of have to pull that guy down. It's just awkward more than anything for an Apple product. I guess the, the other cases were like this too, but I mean, if you slide it down and pop on the top, you would think that would be enough to get it to register, but it's not. I mean, you really, if I pull it back out, you really have to push it way down until it pops up and then you can place the top on. So if you guys are struggling to get it to work, that might be the case for you. Honestly, I'm probably gonna take this thing back because that seems like a lot to have to push it in so far um, every single time. And personally, I just like changing my case more often than not. And for $129 a pop and only coming in a couple colors, uh, I don't know, it's a lot. It's a pretty hefty price, pretty much just like every Apple product right now out on the market, but that's another thing that just blows my mind. It's like if you were gonna buy an iPhone XS Max for $1,100,
you get a warranty with that, that's $1,300. And then you get a smart case, that's almost $1,500. Like you're paying $1,500 for a phone and a case and a warranty. And it just kind of blows my mind how, how ridiculous that is getting. But in any case, guys, if you uh, wanted a smart battery case, one made by Apple, of course, for your iPhone 10, there is backwards compatibility. So as long as you're on the latest iOS versions, Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Take care. Uh, if you guys liked it, definitely give it a huge thumbs up. Spent a little time making this one, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know down in the comments section if you guys think a speed test for how fast you can charge this or a battery test of how long this lasts. If those would be good ideas for videos, let me know down below too. Anyway, thank you again so much for watching. Subscribe, like, all that stuff. But until next time, this is Tony signing out.